Welcome back everybody to the channel and welcome back to another Rebel Clash opening. Today we're not doing a booster box, but we are doing the Elite Trainer box we have right here. A uh, very, very cool box. Honestly, the design of this thing is pretty cool. Uh, the coloring I had to get used to. I'm not a big fan of like the green and yellow mashup that they got going on here, but uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. You got uh, G-Maxed um, Caparaja on the front, and it comes with some pretty cool stuff. If you, as you guys can see this down here, obviously you get the box, and it looks like it's kind of going back to uh, what the Sword and Shield boxes look like. Um, but you get the sleeves, you get the dividers, you get all the packs. And it's going to be cool. We're going to dive into it. So as I'm opening this, um, I've been kind of doing a little research and watching some other videos and trying to figure out where the best pull rates are coming from um, with Rebel Clash. And it seems to be, at, at least from what I can see, um, the three-pack blisters are giving the best pull rates so far for Rebel Clash. Um, and then second following that is the Elite Trainer Box. So we are hoping we can have some really good luck because as you guys all know, our booster box, our first booster box did not go over so well. But uh, here you can see we have the, um, it's a player's guide. It's the same thing you get in every other Elite Trainer Box, but uh, shows you some of the cards that are in here. Um, some of the V's. Let's see. Oh, you got a little bit of artwork in here. Where's the list? Here's the card list. And they kind of actually kind of go in order by like type and all that. It's really nice. Um, we want to get some of these, some of these full arts. I would really love to get that nine tails. Um, but we really want to get is the rainbows, specifically bosses orders. Or we want some gold, we want the gold frost moth or the gold Perserker. But that is that piece there, pretty standard. Um, and then again, we have a uh, box here. So the cool thing is, and you guys can see, this is all like gold. It's like shiny metallic gold. I dig that. I think that's pretty sweet. I think that's a nice little touch. Um, so let's just pull everything out. They actually have this packed very neatly and I'm kind of impressed. I don't remember seeing ETBs being this neatly packed. All right, so we got, first and foremost, we have this player uh, Pokemon trading card game rules guide. Tells you how to play the game. We've got all of our packs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Uh, we have all of our dividers. It's like a light yellow on this side, and then the orangish macaroni color on the other side um, we got our pack of energies which I almost never open you got your uh, poison and damage counters die it's actually kind of cool it's like a gold color die um, for you guys there is a coat card because I don't need it and then last but not least we have our sleeves which are like super bent um, not sure why but we're going to keep all this stuff back in here. Just want to show you guys what all comes in it. Every Elite Trainer Box seems to have the same stuff, but, you know, it's cool to just take a peek at what it is that is inside. Everything that's different. So we're, I'm going to move this box down here off to the side. And we are going to get right into the pack opening. I just keep knocking all these down. I need to just, like, take them away or something. And let's start off with... Our boy Toxtricity. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. Flinging packs. See what we can get. And code card. So I wonder if the code cards matter in this one or not. I don't know. Um, with the pre release kits, they did not matter. Um, but then when we opened up the booster box, they were all accurate. You know, green, green mint, nothing, and white mint, something good. But I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, here we go. Shinx, Sandigast, Rolicoli, Stunky. We've got Reverse Electrode. That is not a rare. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right off the bat, we got a Full Art Bosses Order. So this is one of the ones we wanted to get. Um, we definitely want this in Rainbow 
variant as well. Um, it is a little bit off-center. This is not as bad off-center as the other cards we've pulled, but it is a little bit off-center. Not terrible though, but look at that. The magic is already coming through. Very first pack in this Elite Trainer Box, and we pulled a full art boss's order. So we are already doing a lot better than what the booster box had for us. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's true that these Elite Trainer Boxes have really good pull rates. It seems to be the case thus far. Let's see if we can keep it going. There is the code card. One, two, three, and four. And who knows? Maybe we don't get anything else, but that's a pretty good card to get um, overall. So I would say we've uh, we've already won in this box, if that is the only hit we get. The boss's orders. That's such a good pull. Here we go. Phantom Metapod. It looks like it's a uh, like a crochet stitching of Metapod and, ooh, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. So, nothing on that one. A-okay. We still have plenty of packs to go. And, uh, let's see what we get. There is the code card. Oh, these are upside down. That was kind of strange. Maybe I flipped them upside down on accident, I don't know. I usually don't do that, so, it's kind of weird, but stunk. Uh, Scun Tank. Wow, I just cannot speak today. This is not not my day. Sonia, we've got Magmar, Galarian you Mask, Sir Skit, Stuffle, Coughing. We've got Reverse Hollow Clefairy. I think we've already pulled this one. And oh, a new card, Holographic Grim Snarl. I don't think we pulled this one yet. So I think we got another new card here, ladies and gentlemen. One is centered pretty well. It's actually pretty cool. I really dig the hollow pattern for this set. For black and white, and then for this set, I love the, the just the lined vertical and horizontal um, hollow patterns that they threw into them. That is something very simple, but something really cool, you know? Okay. We're just going to go like this and get right into the next pack. We want some more big hits. Here we go. Dublade, Heracross, Capacious Bucket, Impidimp, Shinx, Sandygast, Roly Coley, we got Stunky, Reverse Holographic Trubbish, and, ooh, Greedent. Probably, it's definitely up there as one of my least favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield, but I don't think they really designed it to intend it to be anybody's favorite, if we're being completely honest. It's just one of those filler Pokemon, in my opinion. Could be wrong. Here we go. Another code card. Let's see what we can get in this one. We want some rainbows. We want some full arts. We want some more full arts. Chatot, Chargebug, Galarian Corsola, Binacle. Uh, we've got Scyther, Volby, Dreepy, Reverse Mr. Mime. That's a pretty cool one. And, ooh, Aegislash. Non-holographic rare. So, all right, we still have three packs left, and they are all the starters. So, hopefully, uh, that means we're going to get something good. Inteleon is my favorite. He was my starter choice in Sword and Shield. But we're just going to crack them open first. We won't save them for last. Hopefully, the real boom can provide us something good for the end. A real nice banger. Here we go. Water Energy, Oleana, Twin Energy, Heliolisk, pretty cool uh, artwork. Magmar, Galarian, Yamask, Surskit, we got Stuffle, Coughing, Reverse Hollow, Garalith, that's really awesome, I really enjoy that. And Sigalith, non holographic. All right, Cinderace, give us something good here. Let's get two hits right at the end. Back to back, two hits. There is the code card. You know what? I don't know if I showed it long enough. It was pretty fast. I want to make sure you guys get the codes. Here we go. Energy. We've got a Medicam, Morgrem, Palpitude, Temple, Trubbish, Helioptile, Honedge, Litwick. We've got a Reverse of Tranquil and a non holographic Electivire. So we are down to our final pack for this ETB 
Um, we've only gotten two hits though. So, but one of the hits that we got was a pretty good hit to get. Just can't complain. Like I said, I think if uh, those are the only hits we got, we still come out on top because it is such a good card. Uh, it's such a valuable sought after card. But uh, we obviously want more hits. So, Durant, Palisand, Corsola, Binacle, Scyther, Volibee, Dreepy. Ooh, there we go. A reverse hollow Durant. I don't think we have that one yet. And Mag Mortar non holographic. So, ladies and gentlemen, we. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We only got two hits. We got a holographic Grimmsnarl and a full art boss's order. Again, very, very good pull to get. Very, very good card. Um, it is a little sad, though, that we only got two hits out of that. But, uh, hey, it is what it is, you know? Um, maybe it's just my luck. I'm just not having very good luck with Rebel Clash, and that's okay. But uh, before we end the video, I do have one more booster pack I want to open. All right, so for the final pack, to end this video off on a good note, we are going back to our Burning Shadows hunt. <sighs> we got to pull that Charizard at some point. We got to pull a Charizard at some point. That's I, We just got to keep going. So I'm going to keep opening these. Um, there hasn't been like a huge spike in value for this set yet, so... We're going to keep opening them until they become, you know, un unaffordable. Uh, is it for, yeah, for the front. Feels like it's been a while since I've opened one of these, but here we go. Curlia, Olivia, Lunatone, Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, Ralts, Tangela, Tynamo. We've got Reverse Hollow Magikarp, and here is the Charizard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, let me know down below what your hits for the ETBs for Rebel Clash have been so far. I really want to figure out, you know, maybe I just got a dud. But I've been hearing a lot of good things about the ETBs in the three-pack blisters, which that video is coming later. Um, but let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. And if you have not already, please hit the subscribe button. We just hit 700. We are marching towards 800. We are getting close, closer and closer every single day. So uh, if you haven't already, please hit that button. You won't regret it. We do really good content here on the channel. But, uh, you know, I'll let you explore that for yourself. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you guys in the next episode.